Hey everyone, I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. So this episode we're going to continue on with the MSQ in Stormblood. Uh, we are following Lys in uh, Girabanya, so we're going to hop into it and see uh, see what we have uh, in store for us. So let's do this. Okay, let's go. That is a cool butterfly though, actually. I do like that. Oh, thank you. Where's my, uh, where's my it, it lands on my head. Oh, I've noticed it does, yeah. Why can't I, my I, minion and my umbrella exist at the same time? It's kind of goofy, isn't it? They just cannot. Well, you should be able to summon your chocobo while you were walking. <clears throat> what? Yes. Ew, the crap is that hideous monstrosity. Like, like, if you're walking, you should be able to just call your chocobo <gasps> without stopping. That thing is a mistake. What, oh the bird? Gosh. Yeah, look at that thing. Uh, a spinner. No, the spinner. Oh. Yuck. Ew, it's so gross. Yucky. Oh, look at this thing. A fopper. I'm gonna make it eat you. Ew! I thought it was gonna be cute, but it wasn't cute. Ah, it's attacking me. It's like a cyclops. <laughs> Lesser Gaganon. They don't Gaganon. attack crap because he's like an 83. Uh, what? Wait, what there's an ether current. Hey guys, you guys are getting attacked. Do something about that. I literally can't collect it because there's uh, I always get it. Don't worry, guys, I got this. You got it. Good job, everybody. Good job, team. Team Huddle. Hey, we need, like, a team group. Like, what's where's, our where's, like, team name? Where's Jamil? He's. Leave him alone. He's. He's. He's going through something right now. No, I said, where's Jamil? He's going through something right now. Jamio. Jamio? No, no, Look at this guy, Dust, Dust Dahara. That's cool looking. Oh, what the? He what didn't like that you probably, probably, should probably he keep didn't. Ew, look at his butt from behind. <laughs> I can't see his butt. <laughs> Ew, Why is it bouncing? I can see his butt now. Behind from behind. Dust <laughs> That rock's got well, some jiggly butts. He's twerking while he's running. <laughs> That's some jiggly cheeks Ew. on that on that rock guy. It kind of reminds me he's of the a robot. Kind of reminds you of what? The goo boo cheeks. Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, ew. A little bit. I like this rocky place. It is cool. Uh, we're here like on the other thought, side of this not. pass is Ralgar's Reach. So you say, but all I see are rocks. I presume there's some <laughs> sort of trick to this. Indeed. Oh, she's a glamour. Yes, yeah, she fell asleep. What's that? <laughs> what's good eye, What is that? What is that disease that people like fall asleep when they're like walking or whatever? Narcolepsy. That's it. Narcolepsy. She suffers from narcolepsy. <laughs> I take it they have a talented mage in their ranks, or mayhap an artificer, a trained in the modification of glamour prisms. Something like that. The important thing is that it fools the Garleans. Oh, before we go in, I don't know if Tataru told you, but my friend Nago, the messenger who came to the Rising Stone, is a member of this faction. Okay. So they know us, and they shouldn't attack us on sight. That said, they can be a bit jumpy, so let me lead the way, and uh, don't go reaching for your weapons or anything. Okay? I'm gonna have mine out. <laughs> you would, Mom. <laughs> Mom's just gonna be threatening them the whole time. I guess. Hey, we just- did we not just establish that I'm stupid? And the sprinkle of damasking dust- demasking dust is all laid bare. Hey. Okay. We go this way now? Oh, what? Forward! Ah! Uh, walking. What? Huh? You guys are just walking. You should be using a chocoboo. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Lisa's running ahead. She's done. She's out of here. Okay, I'm done with this She's place. Out. She's going to get McDonald's. She's going to McDonald's and a Burger King. <laughs> She's going to McDonald's? Oh. There's no, no McDonald's in Aorzea. It's, it's only Burger King. Oh. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth. With a single blow. I can do Dante that. has to use the bathroom. Can we stop at 7 Eleven, please? Ralga's reach. Whose voice is that? I just had a thought. Lee's. And a Lee's fitting home for the world. literally walking around for here. For the brave and the true. And the loyal she got sons metal and daughters of on. Alamigo. Their legs are burnt. <laughs> oh, they're like. They must be robot legs. <laughs> they did. They, they they're got all cooked metal. up. They got cooked up. Yeah. yeah. They were waiting for us there. They're special, Men where they have like built-in air conditioning. Cried out for what was sure. lost, for what could be ours again. 
Okay, did they copy and paste these guards, or did they all just have the same mustache? Yes. <laughs> They're brothers. It's a cultural thing, dang. It's part of their uniform. The mustache looked like a mouth, and so it kind of looked creepy. Dang, this music is kind of groovy. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a mouth. <laughs> it did, it was terrifying. I was like, ugh. Try to hear the music. This music is pretty groovy. Oh, it is kind of cool. The one during the oh, cutscene. Ah, you'll forgive us like our it. precautions, but we couldn't be sure who'd cross the barrier. We'll see you now for who you are, though. The science of the Seven Dawn. That's <laughs> right. We're the good guys. Now give yeah. us crap for free. Uh, the promise of a new beginning. Conrad knows the purpose of your visit and would like to give you a proper welcome. <laughs> Now, I know you would not have come all this way unless you had something important to discuss, and I'm eager to hear what it is you have to say. But let's not do this on our doorstep, huh? Come with me. Yeah, okay, Conrad. I mean, the dude's name is Conrad. Conrad. <laughs> what? Is my, I, thought, I, thought, I thought my voice was a pretty good Conrad voice. He has to, he has well, to be is. pretty rad with a name like Conrad. I feel like I, I, feel like I was... Oh, wait, there's a thingy over here, guys. He's over there already. How is... No... There's a. You guys want to get this either right over here? Is either There's right? Snake right? ladies over here. Oh yes, I was going the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, he's I way ahead. Ladies. He's way ahead. He's getting mauled by snake women. He's practically twenty quests away. I, for some reason, I want to say twenty. No, actually, he's you practically said twenty moms away. He's twenty moms. Twenty moms is the way. What are, these, like what are these? What are these like? Look at these weird chocobo. Uh, guys, look! You can swim in the water here. There's a chocobo huh? keep here. Look, you can swim in the water here. There's a chocobo keep here. <laughs> Getting it, Ashley. Ashley, hi. <laughs> How can you jump you... out of the water? That's some like. That's some How like serious swim swimming strength. Holy crap! Hey guys, imagine being able to swim so well you can launch yourself out of the water like a dolphin. You have to be, it has, the water has to be deep enough this way. No! Uh, I'm slow. What is this place? Rogger's Reach? Is that what you're asking? Uh, is it this, this particular place? This particular place? Yeah, or the zone? <laughs> is it, this like some kind of desert? Is this it's Girabania. Girabania is where we're at right now. Oh wait! What? I missed the big etherite. I got the little one. What the heck? What are you talking about, Mom? <laughs> There's a big etherite over here. I missed it. Wait, where? Down south? Oh, there is. Yeah, you're right. I missed it too, Mom. Okay. I got the little one, and then I was I like, got, wait, I got, a big I, right I, there. Yeah, I got the little one too. I missed the big one too. Yeah, yep. I, I missed it. I'll go back and get it here in a minute. I'll wait for you to start the dialogue though, Mom. Okay, here I come. I should get my griffin out. Maybe I should hang out with my griffin for a little bit. Not good. There's a materia person over here, isn't there? Or do they just sell it? Isn't no. that what that blue symbol is? A blue circle? Yeah. Right, here I come. Or maybe... I should do... This. This fits my bandana. <laughs> you're a gangster. Look, look out, guys. <laughs> Driving my car in the desert. It's not good for your car. All right, Conrad. What's Conrad have to say? Watch him be voiced, and this time it's nothing like I was doing. Watch it. Allow me to welcome oh, you once yep. more to Rogers Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. Oh dear. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. I'll oh, see, Alfin, I'm not the only one who wants to call you, uh, No, Lise, no, Ida. there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I I wanted to, um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your lost child. 
Papalimo laid down his life to save us, to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. Combat. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual, by Rolger it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir, to see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Aeorsian Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Okay, I'm back. So that's the way of it, new, eh? New armor? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require. Okay. Promise of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. I like the new little jingle. Okay. New armor? I literally said the same thing. I literally oh. meant new armor. Sorry, I, 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 I must have not heard you say that. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm saying because you said it the same way that I said it. I said new armor, and you did oh. the same thing. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I did. Uh, so it seemed we find ourselves... Clip that, Jeremy, a, clip that! ...a free time. No, oh, I probably won't You are free to look around Ralgo's Reach. In fact, <clears throat> I would encourage you to do so. It'll give you a better grasp of our current circumstances. Thank you, Master Camp. I believe we'll do just that. Okay. Let us make uh, of this most opportunity and assess the resistance's capabilities. Uh, free to poke around our noses. Uh, free to poke our noses wherever we will. Uh, I like the sound of that. Freaky snake lady. What you guys are talking I about? Yeah, it's just a oh. straight up snake lady. Well, I don't know this place is inside out. Can I show you around if you like, Typhonus? Not sure. Let's get, let's get started. Okay. I like the little jingle. It's fun. Tap it here. Alright, following Lee's here, I guess. I bet you think this is mostly made of valid me and Highlanders like me, but the truth is, oh. Okay, yeah, although the truth is, we don't count for half. We've got the Hell's Guard from all the way over the spine in there, and plenty of Seekers of the Sun, like Niago. Uh, there's even some be beastmen. Well, beast women, I suppose. Like that one over there. She's an Ananta, and I've. Uh, they've been with us for a while now. Which will do the inevitable scarvings to them. Keep themselves spending all their time crafting. And Anata makes the most amazing jewelry, by the way. Okay, that's enough about them. Let's take a closer look at the statue of Rogger, shall we? Yeah, this is like a snake lady, isn't it? That's that's such a unique um, model there. It's kind of cool. I kind of dig that. It's neat. Neat. I like that. I appreciate that. Wonder uh, what the next plan will be. It's not like Reese. It's not like a reskin or something else. It's really cool. At least, I, at least it doesn't look like a reskin to me. A reptilian. What's that, Ashley? I think I think we'll have a reptilian race next. Jeremy Jeremy said he wondered what the next playable race is gonna be, and I said a reptilian. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, either or. Where do those weird things from that Dawn Trail uh, benchmark, Ashley? What weird things? Do you remember them weird like golem things? No. Did ever did ever <clears throat> did everyone else get the big etherite here in Rogers Reach? No, no. Nope. Make, make sure you get the big etherite there. I 
Hey, look, it's that famous YouTuber. Where? Where'd he go? His name is. <laughs> Did you see him? Yeah, his name is Titanese. Titanese? Oh my goodness, I've never seen him before. What was he doing? Yeah, Trav, you're gonna have you're gonna have people that pronounce your your YouTube name wrong. I've you're actually I've actually never Titanus. had anyone pronounce Tythonus anything different than Tythonus. Really? No one's ever said Tythonese. Other than if Brennan, you... no, no one has ever said Tythonese. It's always no, been like even no, like not, it's gonna it's gonna start down now. I have I have it's I have down. I have watched live stream of other like bigger YouTubers and stuff and watch them and like commented and they're like oh thanks for the sh or thanks for the comment Tythonus or something I've never had it ever been pronounced other than anything other than Tythonus my my uh, username always gets I, I just always get called Bumblebee and then I feel like a transformer wait is it not Bumblebee I thought it was Bumblebee what are you talking about Bobby it's Bobby B what are you talking about it's Bumblebee I don't know it's just you know that. Is it don't the fall into his chat. who guided our answer he just set the bait for you what do you mean? People, people, people just don't bother saying my full name. They just say blue. They always, I always say thought blue. I just say sledge. Like uh, sludge. Tythonese. Tythonese. That's how you say it. You know, you know why I say Tythonese? Yep. Why do you say Tythonese, Brennan? Hey, another question yeah. is, but they call Jamil 10 plus or 10? Here, watch they this. Call him so, I'm, gonna, I'm going to I'm going to 20. Travis. They call him I want you to right click. <laughs> I want you to right click and say, uh, "Speak message." You yuck, gross. Where are your legs? You snake ladies. That's you want to know? What, you know? You know what snake, I want to know? Oh, hold snake on. lady. Let me get through this dialogue she here. Snakes don't typically have legs, Ashley. You know what? You know what? I, oh, I got to sneeze. That's what I'm saying. Thank I said you. You, you know what I want to know about Lisa's outfit? I wonder if her legs get heavy. Why did she? Why did she got that belt around her, like the collar of her of her ch chest piece on her neck? It look cool. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this is this is my outfit, Ashley. What do you think? Or my, this is my mount now. What do you think? The well, only thing that I can think of is, I wonder if her legs get like clammy, like cool. or like hot, <laughs> or like heavy, because it's the only part of her body that's in like thick armor. So walking in that must be stinking nightmare, because your legs are like twenty pounds heavier than the rest of your body. This is more like Arabian stuff. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish this here, then I'm gonna stop my recording. Give me a second here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, was pretty I'm mitter, going to stop mitter. at the point where Matthew. Just give me a second. Done looking at... right. Okay. All right. Hold on. No, Obi, you don't need my popcorn. All right, everyone. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, so we just made it to Rawgar's Reach. Everyone's gonna kind of wrap up their quest here. Um, pretty cool area. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And as always, we will catch you in the next one. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.